Sportsman of North America, your ticket to the outdoors is proudly taking you into extreme hunting excitement and adventures that dreams are made of. If you don't like those traffic lights and those crowded streets, then grab your boat or fishing pole and take a ride with me. We're heading to a place with a lot of space. Good old boys can roam. We're leaving behind all the dirt and crime from the cities we call home. Co-host Mike McKay and sportsman of North America's founder Keith Powell for extreme hunting excitement. Last week on Sportsman of North America, show host Heath Painter and Sportsman of North America founder Keith Powell were in Africa chasing planes game. This week, the crew is back into the action, but here's a huge twist thrown into the equation. They're hunting dangerous game in the Kalahari of South Africa. That's right, Keith Powell takes on the Cape Buffalo Challenge. He has an up-close encounter with one of Africa's most dangerous big game animals alive. Seconds and only 40 yards separate Keith from a potential deadly situation. We're also sharing with you Keith Powell's quest for the majestic kudu at hunting legend's crown jewel concession, the Fahad. Long days, miles walked, and countless hours of watering holes finally pays off. Watch as Keith and Heath make a plan. They find the sign, build a blind, and Keith takes a great kudu bull. Heath Painter takes an awesome impala at long range with his heart rifle. Excitement and African adventures are headed your way on this week's show. The Sportsman of North America crew has been hunting with one of the best professional hunting operations in Africa, Hunting Legends. Owner Philip Mostert knows how to get his clients on game and has shown the SNA crew what it takes to be successful. Whether it's in South Africa or Namibia, Hunting Legends produces the results that sends their clients home with huge smiles and the trophies they've dreamed of. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Keith is looking for an awesome impala. Heath's PH, Harold Prinsloo, knows this area well. He's been seeing a great impala ram hanging out in an open savanna close to the Limpopo River, an area lush with wildlife. This is the time of rut for the impala. Grunting, chasing, and fights can be seen in the open grassland. Impala are comparable to the white-tailed deer of North America. Due to its huge populations, visibility, and body size that closely resembles the whitetails back in the States, American hunters can quickly identify with the impala. Oh, he's down. He's down. Whew. Folks, that right there is exciting. Right in the heat of the day, these impala will stand. We're driving around old safari style. But Harold, that right there is a nice one. Folks, we're out here hunting with honey legends. And once again, Harold, you guys put me on game. Let's go get him. Only a pleasure. Thank you, bud. Oh, there he is right there. Buddy. Oh, he's a good one. Thank you, brother. Put the old heart rifle down. Look at that, huh? Wow. Folks, look at this. Impala, what a beautiful Impala. That right there's what, probably 26 inches? I reckon it's a 26 inches. Wow, man. That's what I'm talking about. Man, what a beautiful animal. Folks, sportsmen of North America and hunting legends. That's a winning combination right there. Go to sportsmanna.com to check out all the details. Harold, once again, buddy, thank you. Impala. Sportsman of North America is brought to you by Nikon, Bowtech Archery, 
Hunter Safety System, Trophy Taker, Shuttle T-Lock Broadheads, Camoskins.com, Hart Rifle, Boss Buck Feeders, Buckeye Cam, Victory Arrows, Tree Limb, Kicking Bear, and Predator Recurves. Sportsman of North America Hunting Club is the only online hunting community that gives away a hunt each and every week. 52 hunts a year are given away to our members. Next time you're looking for excitement and adventure, it's only a mouse click away. www.sportsmanna.com Warning. Becoming a member of Sportsman of North America may be contagious and have life-changing effects. It may take you on adventures of a lifetime, can cause loss of job productivity from dreaming about our giveaways, may cause buck fever from close encounters of huge bucks, been known to cause increased heart rate from bugling elk at 20 yards. Stop! If you have never experienced any of these symptoms, you must go to SportsmanNA.com and join the excitement today. Sportsman of North America, your ticket to the outdoors. Trophy Taker was founded on a single revolutionary archery product, the Trophy Taker Fallaway Arrow Rest. Dan Evans, the inventor of the Trophy Taker, wanted to build the perfect rest for hunting and tournament shooting, and we've done just that. When you need American-made dependability and quality, you have it in a Trophy Taker Arrow Rest. For more on the Trophy Taker and our full line of hunting sites, go to trophytaker.com. Trophy Taker, leading the way on the line and in the field. Well, folks, we're back again with another incredible grand prize giveaway. I'm Keith Powell with Sports of North America, and this year we're raising the bar. One lucky person will be going home with this 2009 Polaris Ranger XP. Sportsman of North America, your ticket to the outdoors, the destination for awesome prizes, cool gear, and outdoor excursion giveaways. And you don't even need to be a member to win. Just go to SportsmanNA.com for all the info. Sportsman of North America, your ticket to the outdoors. Folks, don't miss out on this unbelievable opportunity. You don't have to be a member to win. Just go online to SportsmanNA.com and fill out the grand prize giveaway form. It's that easy. Remember, one lucky person will be holding the keys to this 2009 Polaris Ranger XP, and it could be you. Don't miss out. Visit us at SportsmanNA.com. You're watching Sportsman of North America. Before the break, Keith Painter took an awesome Impala. Using his optics to locate a huge ram, P.H. Harold Prinsloo has been seeing down by the Limpopo River. He found the ram he was after. One shot from the heart rifle did the job. Keith Powell has a quest. A quest for the majestic kudu, the beautiful gray ghost of the African bush. With its huge spiraling horns and its distinctive markings, it makes for one of Africa's most sought after big game animals by hunters worldwide. The kudu has an uncanny ability to vanish into the bush. One minute there, and the next minute gone. Kudu literally blend into their surroundings with its gray camouflage. Camouflage that keeps them well hidden from predators and hunters alike. The elk sized animal is a challenge. A challenge that Keith Powell is ready to take on. Keith and Heath have found a good spot to build a blind. The site is overlooking a water hole. Kudu tracks can be found everywhere around the edge. Kudu is one of our biggest antelope species in Africa. And often referred to as the gray ghosts. There's a reason why they refer to as the gray ghost, because these are majestic animals. They have huge big ears, which help them tremendously with excellent hearing, fantastic eyesight, and they disappear like a ghost in the darkness. You'd be hunting a kudu with your eyes fixed on him, and the next moment he'll just disappear. You'd get up close to his tracks, and that kudu will be gone. bush right here gives us our best cover got a lot of leaves on it and it even when it starts to die the leaves stay on it so we're gonna this will actually be our hide we're gonna build a structure up of just some big trees then we'll come in here and we'll stick these little branches all throughout there to, to cover us up and so we built the hide and 
and spent a lot of time because you know if the animals skirted us you know they wasn't going to be able to see us and if they didn't smell us we we're going to be in good shape and so we took our time it took us a couple of hours which is no big deal we cut down the brush and brushed it up and it, i tell you what it was awesome i tell you that's part of of the hunt that i like i, I enjoy getting out there and yes, making a game plan and 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 going to and getting my hands dirty and cutting down the brush and making my hide and and not just telling somebody hey i want i want something done over here and then walking up and it's done i like being a part of it that's the enjoyment of, of hunting for me and well folks there you have it we're getting close to completion of our blind we're gonna give it maybe, maybe a day maybe two and we'll see you next time, right back in the blind. The next morning, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get in there really early. Normally, we don't get in the blinds at, at daylight, but we wanted to. We were gonna sit there all day and just give it an opportunity for the animals to filter in and get a drink of water, and, and, and hopefully that we were there at, at the right time or the right day. And, and uh, so we got there at daylight, and we're sitting there, and, and uh, no animals. We've been there for like 30 minutes, 35 minutes, 40 minutes, and. And, and Heath, Heath was the, in, behind the camera, and uh, he was on an angle that he could see the, the side of the, 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 the water hole that we couldn't see. And uh, uh, Harold and I, which is the PH in, in, for Hunting Legends, uh, we couldn't see what Heath could. But anyway, Heath reached over and tapped me on the leg and said, Cooter, Cooter, Cooter. So he gets behind the camera, and I jump up. And, and, I, and what we didn't know is the Cooter had already been drinking and was leaving. And I didn't have time to say, hey, is this a 60 inch kudu? Hey, is this a 50 inch kudu? All I know is the kudu looked awesome. I mean, he's walking away and these, they're long legged and they look like they're 10 foot tall. And they're, and I mean, when you see one, you're just like, oh, there's another one. Kudu right there. We smacked him right there. I, I mean, that's a close shot right there. <laughs> we have been hunting hard for these kudu folks. I want to tell you right now. We set this hide up here yesterday. We took a few hours come in here and make this blind. This water hole is getting pounded by animals. There's elon and all kind of stuff in here. And we took the time to make this hide and we knew we thought we'd come here and just set it all day. We hadn't been here an hour and a half and that big giant kudu just walked in. Big mature animal. Tell you what, that's a trophy right there. We're here in South Africa with hunting legends. And I tell you, these guys really, really know what they're doing. Top notch facilities. I tell you what, first class and the animals and the hunting is incredible. I mean, we couldn't, the way he ran around this corner, we couldn't see him drop. But we knew, I mean, he didn't go 40, 50 yards right here. The water's still right here. That was a perfect shot, buddy. <laughs> All right, folks, looky here. Oh my gosh, this is the kudu. This is one of the majestic animals, kind of like our American elk. Oh man, I tell you, got the old heart rifle. We pounded him. I tell you, the heart rifle and Nikon scope, that's a winning combination right there. We didn't, we didn't shoot long range on this one, but I tell you what, we put the smack down on this big kudu. Bull right here, folks. We've been hunting hard, having a good time here in South Africa with hunting legends. And I tell you what, this right here is what it's all about. Big trophy animals, majestic, beautiful kudu, and just all the other animals we've experienced here. We're having the time of our life, folks. Folks, if you want more information about hunting in South Africa with hunting legends, just go to our website, www.sportsmanna.com, for all the details. Sportsman North America. We're your ticket to the outdoors. Well, folks, we're back again with another incredible grand prize giveaway. I'm Keith Powell with Sports of North America, and this year we're raising the bar. One lucky person will be going home with this 2009 Polaris Ranger XP. Sportsman of North America, your ticket to the outdoors, the destination for awesome prizes, cool gear, and outdoor excursion giveaways. And you don't even need to be a member to win. Just go to SportsmanNA.com for all the info. Sportsman of North America, your ticket to the outdoors. Folks, don't miss out on this unbelievable opportunity. You don't have to be a member to win. Just go online to SportsmanNA.com and fill out the grand prize giveaway form. It's that easy. Remember, one lucky person will be holding the keys to this 2009 Polaris Ranger XP, and it could be you. Don't miss out. Visit us at SportsmanNA.com. Sportsman of North America was my ticket to the outdoors. Sportsman of North America is 
my ticket to the outdoors. Because I, I never thought it was possible for me to win a hunt like this in Kansas. Sportsmen of North America is my ticket to the outdoors. Great hunt, man. I really enjoyed it. I, thanks to uh, uh, Sportsmen of North America. Sportsmen of North America was my ticket to the outdoors. Sportsmen of North America, my ticket to the outdoors. I won this hunt from uh, Sportsmen of North America. It's a really, really nice online club to belong to. And I won this free hunt. The, the Sportsmen of North America is my ticket to the outdoors. I'd just like to thank Keith Powell and the Sportsmen of North America for making this trip a success. Thanks, Keith. Sportsmen of North America was my ticket to the outdoors. Out of this world. I just want to get up and do happy dance all I have to say to you sportsmen and women out there is let Sportsmen of North America be your ticket to the outdoors. You're watching Sportsmen of North America, and we're headed to the Kalahari of South Africa with SNA founder Keith Powell. He's going on a hunt for the dangerous Cape Buffalo. If you look at the Kalahari, the Kalahari is not just part of South Africa. The Kalahari stretches through South Africa, through the southern part of Botswana, into Namibia. It's a huge semi-desert area with fantastic hunting opportunities and an abundance of game. People often don't realize that the desert or a semi-desert such as the Kalahari has such fantastic hunting opportunities available. But that it really is. It's an adventure of a lifetime to hunt in the Kalahari. You have the semi-deserts all sand, you have these huge camel thorn trees and an abundance of game. Everywhere you look, there are herds and herds of game. I tell you, as the plane approached our, our runway, you know, and, and we dropped down on the sky, on the clouds, you know, we could start to see animals everywhere. And that's, and that's no, the, the Kalahari is known for that. It's an unbelievable place. We're right on the Botswana border, the, the South Africa Botswana border, and I mean it's just game rich. And, and as we as we got close to the runway, we could see sables and we could see gimsbuck and there was kudu. It's just an unbelievable paradise for a sportsman. And and like I said, that the the wide openness of the Kalahari is, is, is perfect for, for my situation. I love to be able to see a long way and it's just God's country here. The Kalahari, it's sandy sea long ways, it's got meadows, grasslands, uh, you know, big nice trees, just, just an unbelievable sportsman's paradise. If you want to talk about an adrenaline rush, then hunting the big five in Africa is up amongst the best in the world. Hunting the big five or the dangerous game species in Africa is an adrenaline rush second to none. We have the lions, leopards, rhino, cape buffalo and elephant which make up the big five and every one of them are a proud member of the big five for a very good reason they are dangerous they are fast they are cunning and they're exceptionally exceptionally beautiful animals but when you start on a on a big five hunt you need to know that it's not just you hunting them they may well be hunting you the reason they call the big five and part of the dangerous game species of the world is because these animals aren't just to be hunted, they are hunters themselves. When you hunt leopard or lion, you need to know they're hunting as hard as you are. And facing a leopard or a lion in close quarters, wow, that really gets your adrenaline going. That's what I love about hunting the big five. It's an awesome experience going into the bush, putting our skills against theirs. Tracking a leopard or a lion in thick cover is just something that is so hard to describe to anybody that has never had that opportunity. Found out. Keep what we have here. You can see the buffalo tracks going through here. It's sandy soil, so you can't clearly see the tracks that you would know it, um, as you see it in the books. Obviously, being in Kalahari, we have perfect sand here. So you can just literally see this highway where they where they go through. Looks you like see the big size of the of the of their track. And that's the size of my hand. It's a big buffalo going through here. And that's typically what they're doing. Um, they're grazing this area. We know that it's a big herd. There's about six six to eight bulls in this herd. It's a matter of finding finding them where they're better down. And um, what are they dragging their feet? They're, well, they're, they're lazy, like a, you know, and, and it's soft, so it doesn't hurt them as it, as it would do in a rocky area, you know, so they've got an excellent, like these, yeah, these like bushman trackers are just... Yeah, it looks like it just looks like yeah. something's been dragging. 
but that's typically what we're looking for. We're just going to follow okay. these tracks. So we're just, gonna, we're just going to stay on this and we're going to go follow them? Okay. Cool, let's do it. Let's I'm ready. Let's go. Our game plan was that we're going to go out with the trackers. It's unbelievable the way uh, these trackers in Africa can follow these animals everywhere. And, and I, they're finding things in the, in the dirt and in the sand that I can't even see. I, I've never seen anything like it. It's, it's something that I could tell you how good they are, but until you're there seeing them, you, 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 won't, you won't understand what I'm talking about, but it's just incredible. Hunting for dangerous game takes courage and a lot of patience. Our crew is on the trail. When we return, we'll join back up with Keith on his hunt for the dangerous Cape Buffalo. Nikon Optics is what the sportsman of North America team trusts for all of our hunting needs. When we're making long range shots or spotting that trophy of a lifetime, we put our trust in Nikon. Nikon, the only sports optic solution for sportsmen of North America. Shuttle T-Lock, deadly. Space shuttle design. Blade contour delivers field point accuracy and cuts larger holes. Bigger holes, perfect flight. No wind plane. Stainless steel ferrule. Patented locking system. T-Lock ensures blades stay in place no matter the impact. Rock solid chisel point. Becoming a member of Sportsman of North America may be contagious and have life-changing effects. It may take you on adventures of a lifetime. Can cause loss of job productivity from dreaming about our giveaways. May cause bug fever from close encounters of huge bucks. Been known to cause increased heart rate from bugling elk at 20 yards. Stop. If you have never experienced any of these symptoms, you must go to SportsmanNA.com and join the excitement today. Sportsman of North America, your ticket to the outdoors. Well, folks, we're back again with another incredible grand prize giveaway. I'm Keith Powell with Sports of North America, and this year, we're raising the bar. One lucky person will be going home with this 2009 Polaris Ranger XP. Sportsman of North America, your ticket to the outdoors, the destination for awesome prizes, cool gear, and outdoor excursion giveaways. And you don't even need to be a member to win. Just go to SportsmanNA.com for all the info. Sportsman of North America, your ticket to the outdoors. Folks, don't miss out on this unbelievable opportunity. You don't have to be a member to win. Just go online to SportsmanNA.com and fill out the grand prize giveaway form. It's that easy. Remember, one lucky person will be holding the keys to this 2009 Polaris Ranger XP, and it could be you. Don't miss out. Visit us at sportsmanna.com. Before the break, Sportsman of North America founder Keith Powell and professional hunter Philip Mostard from Hunting Legends were on the trail of a group of Cape Buffalo. They've been on the trail for hours, and they're getting close. So Brennan and Philip get their eyes on the animals, and they wave me up, and so I, I come right up behind them. Brennan throws his shooting sticks up. Philip moves the right side of me. Brennan moves the left side of me. At that time, the biggest, the, the mature bull comes out. He's actually better down. He stands up. He makes his way towards us. And I tell you what, I put the gun up, and I'm ready for my shot. This Cape Buffalo, he was staring right at us. I didn't know if he was about to charge or what. I throw my gun up and I get ready for my shot. Unbelievable, I tell you what, the excitement and the nervousness, not knowing what's gonna happen was unbelievable. When the shot went off and that big Cape Buffalo hit the ground, I was like, you know, I was so surprised because all that I've seen and everything I've heard is just like, you gotta shoot these, these animals, they're so tough, they're so big, they're so strong, they're so mean, that one bullet just normally doesn't take it down. That Cape Buffalo hit the ground, and I was like, wow, I was so excited that, you know, I didn't know what was gonna happen at that point, but I just knew that we put a hammer and shot on him, and it took his feet out from under him. It was awesome. That's a good shot. You couldn't have shot it better. Good deal. Well Tell, done, everybody. Buddy. Tell everybody. Tell everybody. Hi, folks. My name is Philip Mostert, hunting legend. Right here with me, my good friend, 
professional PH Brendan Whitehead we in the Kalahari my good friend Keith Powell from Sportsman of North America and Heath Painter running the camera folks we have a huge Cape Buffalo bull behind us I'd still like to see the boss harden up a little bit more but just look at that spread people this is a big buffalo and he's as mean as hell he was bedded down the moment we came up close he stood up and came for us oh, he started coming for us and I told Keith I said Keith take the shot take the shot you're not gonna get it look at the bush around you he's still fighting us folks if you want to experience something like this, like what you just seen here in South Africa, go to our website, www.sportsmanna.com, for all the details. We can hook you up with hunting legends for the trip of a lifetime. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Brendan. Pleasure. Well, folks, here he is, an awesome Cape Buffalo. I'm here in South Africa with hunting legends in the, on the San Susi Ranch. And I tell you what, when I heard that we were going to get to hunt Cape Buffalo, I was so excited. We got here last night, flew in. And this morning we hit the trails early. We, we started in the trucks and we were looking uh, at all the wet areas and the, and the ponds and, and the water troughs, looking for fresh tracks. We picked up, the, the, the tracker picked up some fresh tracks. We followed them as long as we could with the truck. As soon as the animals hit the brush, we got out and got on foot. And we probably made a you know, two and a half, three mile hike. It took us about an hour. And then we hit this area where all the animals split up and they were grazing. And you know, I actually thought we were we were done. My hunt was over, but I was talking to Philip. He said, "No, no, we're going to find the find the trails where they picked back up and left." And so, sure enough, the, they they circled the area. They found the trails where the where the group left again. And it probably wasn't five minutes uh, down this down the trail before we got all the animals. And they were bedded down. The smaller bulls moved off, and this more dominant bull stepped up, and he actually made a, made his way to us about 20 yards. We were actually like, probably 50 or so yards and he actually made his way towards us challenging us as they always do and uh, fortunate enough I was uh, able to make a great shot he went right down and, and I could not be happier here in South Africa with the hunting legends on the San Sushi Ranch it's, it's unbelievable what a blessing what a blessing the Sportsman of North America crew would like to pay special thanks to Philip Mostert and everyone at Hunting Legends for making their Africa safari so special. If you would like more information, please go to sportsmanna.com for all of Hunting Legends details. We'll see you next time, right here on Sportsman of North America. Thanks for watching Sportsman of North America TV show. If you've liked what you watched, go to www.sportsmanna.com to catch all the episodes you've missed. Don't forget, Sportsman of North America Hunting Club gives away hunting trips each and every week. Not to mention the other awesome prizes we give away from our sponsors. If you like online hunting communities where you can meet other hunters from across North America and share photos, hunting videos, and hunting tips, SportsmanNA.com website is the new destination for you. Watch video tips from the pros and the gear highlights you've been looking for. Once again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on the web at SportsmanNA.com. Sportsman of North America, your ticket to the outdoors. We're changing lives one hunt at a time. This has been a Sportsman Video Production, bringing the outdoors home.